ladies and gentlemen, it has been bestowed upon us right here in thy sneak peek number two that Mr. James Buchanan, Bucky Barnes, is getting the treatment. Well, is he hero? Is he villain? <laughs> well, gee, let's find out. As always, right here, CM Fragment of Marvel Future Fight wants to tell us is Captain America's oldest friend. And to redeem what he has done in the past. Yes, Bucky, he was a bad, bad boy. This hero has decided to forge his own path. His battle skills and strong powers as an assassin are sure to be ready. Or sure to be of great help to the new, the new Captain America. Going his own way. We are now investigating the supervillain to be introduced next. Please look forward to it. Yes, I think we're all looking forward to who that supervillain could be. And I think I know exactly who it is. I think we all do. And we'll talk about it in just a moment. Let's go on and play that track. All right, here we go, guys. Let's play that track. I'm digging the tunes, man. Whoever, shout out, shout out to Sneak Peek team, man. They just do a phenomenal job. Seriously, I feel like I can, I can like, you know, jam out to this. Mm. Mm. And I'll, t I'll tell you what those words mean in case, in case you don't know. Oh. Alrighty, so I have Marvel Future Fights page on Facebook pulled up here, and it says free. From the chains of his past, Bucky Barnes redeploys for action with a new look in Marvel Future Fight's V-720 update, inspired by Marvel Studios, The Falcon, and The Winter Soldier. I think it should, you know, it should be assumed that the uh, uniforms are going to come straight out the show, right? Just like they did with the with, with WandaVision. So um, that's what we can expect exactly for the both of them. And I'm going to show you exactly what that's going to look like. But first, let's just dissect exactly what they're saying in the sneak peek right on the forum here. So they they explicitly say that this hero has decided to forge his own path. So um, I think it could be assumed that that he is going to be a hero, although he, he could be both. He's been a hero ever since Civil War, right? Uh, before Civil War, he was a villain. Now he's a hero. Um, we can safely assume he's going to be a hero because they say it right there, right? Boom. Right here. Hero. Boom. Uh, but down here, it says, we are now investigating the supervillain to be introduced next. Zemo, maybe, a, you know, Sharon Carter. It, it could be either one. I think everyone's hoping for Zemo. Um, yeah, you know, as I was saying in, in the last sneak peek video that, um, you know, it'd be nice if Sharon Carter got something. But, she, okay, I don't want to give any spoilers. I'm not going to give any spoilers in, in, in the video here, but... Uh, I'll just say that you wouldn't be able to use her where I mentioned that you could use her. If there was like a shield update, then you know, like you could use Nick Fury. He's never been a villain, um, at least as far as I know, and he has his support already on his in his current status. So right, you could use him without a new uniform if he did get an update with a new uniform. All right, let's jump into this. Alrighty, so here's a screenshot straight from the sneak peek. And if you're not aware of what, the, what those words mean, if you saw it and you're like, man, what, what is this? Those are the phrases that are said that, that turn Winter Soldier, they change him into a mindless killing machine, just a straight up deadly assassin, man. Uh, yeah, I, I would not want to get in his way if those words were actually mentioned. All right, and I have some other screenshots I'm going to throw up here, too. So I, I thought this one was good. Is it uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon? No, they're not getting those looks. They're not getting those looks, although those uh, those are pretty cool. But I think they, they already have those in the game, as a matter of fact. I just like the art. All right, and then we got Winter Soldier just gripping on. Man, how cool would it be to have one of those arms? I mean, that would be so badass, right, man? i just probably just walking around just staring at fools like, what you say about my mama? just yoke them up that'd be pretty sweet all right what else so i got here boom man they're just they're just giving them the, just the stare down between winter soldier and falcon winter soldiers like man you better give up that you better give me that shield you don't think you're taking that shield do you but he does get it. he gets it in the end guys that's a little bit of a spoiler this is looking very emotional and I, i'm throwing this up here because um we could be seeing some black widow related content right they could be introduced with this sneak peek, and maybe if not this one, then mid-month for Black Widow, because the movie is coming out on the 9th, the 9th of July. So I, I know we already got an update for them, so uh, it would make perfect sense if they did something mid-month. Now, it was data mined. It was data mined. Yeah, that, that's looking very emotional. I would not want to be in the middle of that, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, it was data mined. Uh-oh, Yelena. Um... It was Danamine that she got an Awakened skill, 
while back, right? You know, when we when we actually got got the update, it was that of mine that she got had an awakened skill, and I would love to see an awakened skill for her uh, because she's she's powerful. Um, I'm just I'm 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 wondering if okay if you have to imagine that they're. I don't know. Will they do something for Black Widow? I, I don't know. I feel like it's a toss-up just because they they already they already gave us the update. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to see something for like Yelena, Taskmaster. I mean, I haven't seen the movie, so I'm not sure which side these characters fall on. I know we we have a hero and a villain uniform for for Yelena, um, so that would be interesting to see. But you know, we could. I'd say if, if we don't see them within this sneak peek, maybe a mid-month thing. Uh, for for those two chicks, and, and Taskmaster too. Uh oh, my man looking like a boss. Crisscross applesauce, looking like a boss stomping on grapes. He's giving giving the look, looking like a tall glass of milk right there. I don't know. Is he gonna get this uniform? That'd be cool. We'd have we'd have to revisit the tall glass of milk battle. That is for sure, 100 percent. Alrighty, guys. So this is the look that he's going to be getting in the game. All right, and. Now, on good information, I was told that if you leave him in his packaging, uh, and over time, his value increases tremendously. So, so when, once you get him, I suggest don't take him out of the packaging. I know he looks super cool, and you can like, you know, you can give him this pose where it's like he's putting on a glove. But like, why would he need a glove? You know, on that arm, it just, you know, it doesn't really make sense. Or, you know, you could, you know, I know, man, this pose is like super, he's like ready for action, he's ready for battle, he's ready to run in and just, you know, tackle some fools. He's ready to run in like, yo, what you say about my mama? <laughs> just yoke, yoke a fool up. All right, now guys, so at the, at the bottom of the sneak peek, it said that a villain is going to be, basically that we're getting a villain sneak peek tomorrow. U.S. agent? I don't know, a lot of people, okay, so first off, a lot of people really aren't as that thrilled about this update. Really not too crazy about, you know, Sam getting the shield uh, and, and just this this update in general. You know, Winter Soldier and Falcon. Um, I think more people are, are looking forward to like Zemo, US Agent, um, those two in particular. Now, villain could be, is it, there's speculation, US Agent. Is he going to be hero? Is he going to be villain? It, it seems like it can go either way. Also, it seems like leaning towards hero for U.S. agent, but if Zemo does <laughs> does get something, is he gonna be coming in, doing doing the you know just just dancing, just skating on these fools, you know, uh, as as for for his entrance because his entrance right now, you know, he just kind of spins around, slashes the sword. Um, I think I, I'd be looking forward to that. Or if he gets a tier three, he could just dance and skate all over them fools. Yo, what is the deal, guys? Just your neighborhood friendly sneaky bandit coming at you, interrupting your broadcast to bring you some very important Marvel Future Fight news. We got the June update preparation event. So, as per usual, before the sneak peek, or be, well, yeah, during the sneak peeks, before the actual update, we got the, we got the, uh, so we'll, we're going to have the store where you spend the tokens. You just go ahead, complete your five daily tasks. Down here it says use energy to clear warp missions five times. I'm guessing that's going to be dispatch. That's just my that's my guess there because we don't have we don't have the warp missions any any longer. Uh, this is very nice. The Alliance Store event in double donation. Um, I really like this because you get boost points, hidden tickets, you get level four uh, uniform experience chips, all great things. I definitely suggest you don't miss out on that and donate everything you can, right? So you can get as many 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 tokens there to actually purchase this stuff. Um, you should be you know helping your Alliance mates out, anyways, right? All right, and then here, so it's going to be 50% off changing your IS, uh, ISO uh, set. Um, and, you know, they give you an ISO chest, uh, a push notification reward. Those are usually garbage. But if you have any sets to change, I suggest you wait until until this next reset. So this video will be posted before the next reset. The reset after that uh, is when all this stuff is going to be in effect here, the 23rd. Uru, unequipped cost, 50% discount. This is very nice. We haven't seen this in quite a while. I think a lot of people have been waiting for this. Um, I'm, I'm stoked for this. So what I might do is, uh, if you guys want to see it, a video where I'm talking about uh, a lot of characters that, that maybe fell off the meta that you could actually go on and unequip Odin's blessings off of because we do have we do have quite, quite a few, as a matter of fact, and um, some that you might not necessarily think of. So I, I can certainly do that for you guys. This is always excellent, right? All those all those useless 
uh, Uru, six star Uru that you're getting, you know, energy defense, physical defense, you know, recovery rate, all that. Um, you can now go ahead and use those, right? You get them from dispatch. We get a lot from dispatch. I know I do. I've been slacking on running the dispatch, so truth be told, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get back on that routine and yeah, use all those Odin uh, Uru six star Uru that you have. They're just sitting around, kicking around um, to get some Odin's blessings. Uh, Relay battle. I actually really like Battle World. I wish they would do something more with it. Right now, it's just kind of it's kind of you know it has potential. It has potential, and that's what I'm saying there. All right, and that's about it for that. But we have we have some other stuff in in the store right now. And let's go on. Let's go over to the store and let's check this out because we got now. Since when? Since when did mutant materials from the dollar deals become like the best thing in here? Right. <laughs> Uh, that is actually really funny. Um, I'm not complaining. Uh, trust me when I tell you I'm not complaining about that. Um, typically what I usually get, I get the energy and the boost points. I usually don't get anything else. I get the energy and the boost points or the crystals too. I'm sorry. Definitely the crystals are totally worth it. Um, definitely buy, get those. You know, if, if, if you have a few bucks to spare, the crystals and the boost points, if anything, I get the energy now because, you know, use so much energy dispatch and you don't want to be buying energy for crystals because it costs you what is it 100 crystals to fill up your energy meter and depending on what vip level you are yours might not be like mine's 160 and i'm vip 20. so yours could certainly be less but um i mean i wouldn't necessarily suggest buying mute materials but they're they're they they could they could be worth it they could be worth it and then talking about some other stuff here we have this odin's blessing chest now i swear to you they nerf the drop rate from the dimension chest odin's blessings i listen guys you see how many odin's blessings i have yeah i used to gamble they, that would be the only thing i would gamble for were odin's blessings and you know they nerfed it i swear to you they nerfed it because every time i pop in here um i'm just not getting anything i'm not getting anything it's like a one in five i mean i'll go in there and i'll pull it 10 times and not see a single odin's blessing so they need to revamp this you know just like they did they give pity timer here they gave you tokens over here they need to do something over here so talking about the actual deal in the store if you want odin's blessings yeah i know they're they're not cheap they're not cheap guys but um i, th I think this is this you're getting more bang for your buck here because you know say you got one every three pulls right Think about all, you know the amount of crystals it would cost, or the amount of money it would cost for those crystals, and you buy this and you get the crystals on top of it. Plus, you get uh, 10 million gold. So um, that's not a bad deal if you if you really want Odin's blessings. All right, guys, sneaky bandit out. Enjoy your broadcast now. Oh, real quick, there's this in the store. This is not a good deal. Do not buy this. Do not buy this. This is just terrible. They should have the the crystals should be at least a thousand. Should be 1,100 crystals along with all this other stuff. As it is right now, do not waste your money. Definitely don't buy this one. Don't buy the, the Manly Gem one. I'd say if anything, maybe the middle one, but I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch that. No way, no how. All right, Sneaky Bandit out. Enjoy your broadcast. Alrighty guys, now talking about the, the new villain that's going to be, that's going to be in the sneak peek tomorrow. Um, I kind of don't want it to be US Agent. Like I want US Agent to come to the game, but I want him to be a combat hero. Right, we have to imagine he, that he's going to be combat. Um, so for villain, I you know I have to say I'm leaning towards Baron Zemo, and and I hope like okay they give him a uniform and they give him an awakening or, or tier three, and with the uniform they give him something like they did Taskmaster, right? And if you're not sure what they gave for Taskmaster, let's go ahead and let's find this boy. Where's my man? There he is, right there. So on his uniform, right, and they're doing this more and more right now where they're giving the um, the the support passive on as the uniform effect. So he's got the 40 40 uh, applies to all allies. I'm hoping that they do something like that for Zemo because you know his leadership is is pretty good. His leadership would actually be very nice for uh, World Boss Legend, right? If you're not sure what his leadership is, 50% increased all attacks, and if they give him like a 40 40 45 something like like Raven or even even better, maybe some ignore dodge as well. Um, you know, you're looking at around a hundred percent increase, which will push your, you know, will be able to push you at least a couple stages in World Boss Legend, and is going to give us a, a nice edge in ABX, be able to, to to really increase that score because that's one of the least scoring days out of out of all the days. Um, I, I want is is it the very least? I think it might be the very least. It, it's either it's either combat hero or it's 
or is that day right there if if I if I'm remembering correctly correct me in the in the comments if, if I'm actually wrong on that but um so Zemo gets the uh gets a gets the hero sneak peek right and then for because let, let's look at combat let's look at combat and let's look at combat hero what is this what is this man it it this this uh this demographic in the game suffers more than than any i mean they can never give this guy justice come on man hashtag justice for my boy logan um but you know we have we have valkyrie i mean more specifically combat male hero we have venom that that's it i mean black panther uh, I mean, you, you know, you got Iron Fist, but he's just, man, he was meta for like a day. I mean, listen, comment, in the, hit me in the comments if, 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 if you agree with me. He was meta for one day, basically. And that's it. He can't, he can't even outscore Moon Knight, right? The tall glass of milk here. We, and yeah, we have Moon Knight, but it's just, you know, he's just, he's falling off, man. He's falling off, like, and, and that's it. And that's basically, it's Venom in Moon Knight. I mean, we have Luke Cage for, for PvP. He, he's very good. Um, and then, and then that's it. And that's it. Slim picking. So, U.S. agent, we need him as a hero, a combat hero. We need him to do some, do some work. But it's just so funny, right? It's like, okay, um, Sam and and Winter Soldier. So, okay, let's say Sam comes to the game and, and he's meta, and he's like super meta. I mean, is he that meta compared to, I don't know, like Dormammu, Odin? Like, is he gonna be better than Odin? We have, we have. We have uh, Sam, you know, Falcon, better than Odin, or Silver Surfer, right? I mean, you catch my drift. You see what I'm saying? Or, or just Mephisto, Null, any of these characters? Is he gonna be? Is he gonna be able to outpace these guys? And same with Winter Soldier or or U.S. Agent. So, you know, a lot of this stuff doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't really add up. But we'll have to see exactly what they do for him. Maybe they're they're gonna make this a pure like PvP kind of update. I, I would not be opposed to that. I I kind of would be in favor of that. I really don't want to you know swap things around swap like you know odin's blessings you know all, all that stuff and uh you know for for some abx style style stuff i don't know are, are they like you know luna snow is right now um abx she she packs a punch man so i don't know i, I have to believe that it still amazes me that she is still at the very top of, of the meta here and i it's definitely about time i don't necessarily want her to be replaced i just want her to get a new uniform because we can all expect that and I feel like everybody would be hard pressed to remove Odin's blessings off of Marvel Future Fights, baby. Yeah, I, I know I would be very apprehensive too. I'd probably I'd leave him for a long while until it was like, okay, all right, man, he's got to throw in the towel. It's been like a year; she hasn't got anything. That would be the point where where I would I would then uh, throw in the towel because as of right now, you right you don't use her anywhere. So I'll be upgrading this guy. You know, I, I started upgrading. I got him to 64. I already have this guy uh, tier three, and you already know me. You know, as soon as it drops, I'll be doing the testing, um, seeing what this boy can do. I'll have to go ahead and finish his, his ISO 8 set off, and you know, I'll probably leave this on him, right? For those who don't have any Forge CTPs, you know, I'll do the testing with this, and then after I do that, then I'll, I'll throw a, uh, a Forge CTP on him. I don't know, will he be worth a brilliant? Uh, we'll have to see, guys. But I'm going to end it there. I hope you enjoyed the video. hope it was the least bit entertaining. Let me know your thoughts on the sneak peek and what you think is going to go down. Who you think is going to be seen tomorrow, right? We, we have to assume we're getting another sneak peek tomorrow. Um, is it going to be Baron Zemo? Is it going to be U.S. Agent? And what are you hoping for? And I'm, I'm hoping, I mean, listen, there's not a whole lot of options here within Falcon and Winter Soldier. So, you know, Black Widow, I think that would be really nice. I don't know, we'll, we'll be like, you know, hit us from left field and, and hit us with a Taskmaster. Oh, I mean, he already got a uniform. He already got one. So we'll have to see what's going on there. All right, guys, I'm going to end it there. You better stay tuned. You stay breezy. But most of all, friend, you stay safe out there now. Peace.